Any place you go, you actually you, you see a lot of uh, buzz and activity around mobile health. Several factors are coming together right now, making mHealth a really exciting domain to work in. Like any opportunity, this, this one also comes with uh, challenges. mHealth broadly refers to the use of mobile devices in healthcare access and delivery. As you might imagine, because of the wide reach of smartphones, even in developing countries and even in, uh, in, in uh, lower socioeconomic status groups in developed countries, it, there is a lot of interest that maybe we can reach populations that are typically not served very well through the traditional healthcare systems if we can somehow make use of the fact that there are so many smartphones around. Reality really calls for scalable approaches, automatic approaches, because there is a big, big, big problem in terms of the number of health professionals we have to address some of these behavior change problems. So for instance, here are some statistics. I'm originally from India, and so I have been tracking the state of mental health access in India, and it's really, really depressing. So for instance, for about 10,000 required psychiatrists, India only has 2,200. The required number for clinical psychologists is 13,000, and there are only 343. So sometimes, as you can see, these gaps can, be, can cross two orders of magnitude. I think the only way to scale this up is to allow those people to reach more people, more users. One psychiatrist left on his or her own device is not going to reach billions of people, uh, but maybe technology can enhance the reach of, of these health professionals. And you can read this uh, quote by Francis Collins here. He says that as a physician scientist, I know that cool technology is not necessarily synonymous with good science or sound health practices. And therein lies a challenge. There are actually a lot of health apps out there. Not all of them are based on any sound behavioral theory of how humans change behavior. And that can hurt the field in the long run. Maybe you create a lot of excitement in the beginning, but if you don't base yourself on sound science, then in the long run, there will be disillusionment and the field will suffer. This field, to move forward, we really need to nail the user engagement challenge. So my current conceptual framework to think about mHealth is that as you move from different chronic behavior change problems, whether it is pain or stress or depression, addiction, other mental health issues, the health outcomes of interest are going to change as you change the field. But this user engagement part is going to always stay. Because no matter which health outcome you're trying to optimize, you have to make sure that the users are engaged with your app.